Another place we can use subqueries is in the select clause of the select statement. And let's, uh, let's look at this one again. So I'm going to write this a little differently. Instead of using the subqueries in the from clause, I'm going to use them in the select clause instead. So here's what I'm starting with. And I have one row for each year. And then for each year, I'm finding the total number of babies in that year named baby, total number named infant, and total number named unknown. So let's look at it this way. Start with select year from, and then I don't need all data here because I just need your gender totals. So year gender totals. And let's just do the distinct ones because I have one for male and one for female. So here's a list of years. And then I also want to include in this first column the total number of babies in that year that were named baby. So that's going to be a select statement that returns number named baby. Or let's just call it baby for short. So how do I get for 1915 the number of babies named baby in 1915? Well, that's a select statement. And I'm only returning one value here, the number of babies. So that's going to be sum of name count across both genders. Call that total from all data where name is baby and year is 1915. So this is going to give me the total number of babies named baby in 1915. And actually, I need to group by name. So this is going to squish male and female babies together into one row and then sum the values of name count for males and females. So this is giving me total. And that'll give me the value, correct value for 1915. But it will also give me the same value for all of those rows. So let's see what I get if I execute that. So I get seven babies for 1915, but then it also repeats that value of seven for each of these other rows as well. For 1916, though, I actually don't want that. I want 1916 instead, and for this one, I want 1917 and 1918 and so on. So how do I get a different value for each row? Well, I need to match year in all data to year in the current row that I'm displaying. So this is going to be a correlated query correlated subquery. And because the column is named year here and the column is named year there, I'm going to go ahead and alias this table as YGT and alias this as all data. And then I'm going to say AD.year is equal to YGT.year. So this value is going to be different for each row in my return results. And I'm going to pick out the right value. So if I execute that, there, I get the correct number of babies year by year. And you'll notice that for some rows, I don't have any records coming back. And so I end up with a null there. So I might want to wrap this whole thing in is null. And I need these double parentheses here because this goes with the select statement. And then this one goes with the is null, like so. So this expression is returning 
the value that's returned if it's not null and zero otherwise. And then I alias that whole thing as baby. There. So here's my baby values with no nulls in there. And then for the next row, I do exactly the same thing, except I do it for infant. So this is going to be infant. And then I do the same thing one more time. For unknown. So this should be pretty much the same data as I got from this query. But using the subquery in the select clause instead of in the from and join clause. And I noticed that when I did the query the first time, I forgot to give this thing a column header which I need because of that expression. So this is a computed value. So I need to add as year here. Here, I don't need it because I'm getting year from year gender total. So I know that I'm always going to get a value without using is null. Now I can also do the same kind of thing to look up an individual piece of information rather than using a join. So for example, if I select, um, let's do top 50 star from switch to IMDB from title directors. Oops, and I have to use IMDB. Now, instead of just having T constant and const values here, I can put a subquery. So I can say select primary name from name basics where n const equals title directors dot inconst as director and then select primary title from title basics where tconst equals title directors dot tconst. as show. So let's execute that. Now the book doesn't really mention this, but uh, the way um, a subquery works is if you refer to a column like tconst, it's going to look in the tables that I have in the subquery first. And if it finds one of those, it's going to use that value. So if I just say tconst here, since there's tconst in title basics, this is assumed to be title basics.tconst. Um, if I prefix it, with a table and I'm using that table here, it's going to use that one. If not, it's going to look in the outer query and find that. Now, 
it's probably good coding practice to go ahead and say title basics dot tconst anyhow and I'm sorry yeah name basics dot nconst um, just because this can avoid the potential of introducing a bug later on or confusing the person who's trying to maintain your code but it will do the same thing so here's the first 50 of them now I might also want to do something like this where and let's go and I misspelled director here so let me fix that where director equals David Lynch and I misspelled director there as well okay so I might want to do that but sadly that doesn't work I can use director in this order by here this works takes a long time but it works so that took 23 seconds not so bad um, nulls get sorted before the other ones so but I got some number of nulls and then directors in alphabetical order hmm there's a director named 0010x0010 okay 10 by 10 or 16 by 16 if it's hex so anyways i can use the name of this column in order by but i can't use the name of the column in where unfortunately um, if i want to get this effect i have to repeat this whole expression But that works as we've seen before this is just a correlated subquery in the where clause so here are the first 50 shows directed by anybody named David Lynch so one other thing to be aware of is this has to be a single value if you have multiple values coming back, you can't put multiple values in one cell, and so this is going to cause an error. So, for example, if instead of where name basics dot nconst is title directors dot nconst, um, let's just say I return top two of primary name here. So this is just going to return the first two names. That gives me an error because subquery return more than one value. So not permitted when the subquery follows, blah. So bas basically in a select clause, since this is all going in one cell, I can only have one value here. If I do this, that works because I have one value coming back. Now it's not particularly meaningful because it shows the director of everything as being Calvin X Murphy Calvin but it does work. 